Praise the Lord my name is Pastor Rajesh Kedave I know this message is going to bless you watch this message till the end are you discouraged because of what's happening in the world today see we are we are going through a very tough time and everyone is going all over the world so are you feeling discouraged because of that because the businesses are affected people finances are affected the education is affected the traveling is affected the eating is affected most of the things are affected because of this covid 19 so are you really discouraged because of that i know many people are discouraged because they cannot do the things which they used to do before they are just shut down at home so people are really discouraged today and also the people are afraid because when they see the number going high the people are afraid because they see in their neighborhood the people are getting infected people are losing their lives people are really scared from inside so are you discouraged are you afraid today hey this message is for you you don't have to be discouraged you don't have to be afraid watch this message till the end is going to bless you let's go back in 1800 a cholera pandemic it broke out from india and it reached all over the world and this was known as the first asiatic cholera pandemic because first time it happened in india because earlier also there were many cholera episodes in india it spread only throughout india but it didn't cross to other countries so first thing it happened that this cholera started from india actually started from near the city of calcutta so from india it reached all over the world so therefore it's known as first asiatic cholera pandemic or asiatic cholera and from india it went to the asian countries and let me tell you every country in the asia was affected because of that so it was very powerful and from asia to middle east eastern africa mediterranean coast european countries and also great britain was affected the many people died because of this charles spurgeon as you must be knowing a great evangelist a great preacher and he's called as the prince of preacher he preached to 1 million people and that time there was no internet how he preached to 1 million people hey that's the supernatural so i really recommend you i mean go through his biography you will be inspired so charles spurgeon in just when he was 19 years old he was called to be a pastor in new park street chapel in southwark london and that was there in the april 1854 19 years old he became pastor and he was very excited to go ahead but what happened was that after some month the pandemic which started from india it which london and also it reached to his neighborhood his neighborhood became the hot spot many families were affected because of this pandemic because he used to know them and this pandemic was struck in his neighborhood and many people lost their lives because of this so as a pastor people used to invite him in their homes to pray for the sick to encourage the people and almost every single day he used to go and conduct the funeral service because so many people were getting infected every single day and every single day the people were dying and that's happening today as we see all around the world in usa just in one day 65000 people got infected 
and in india also now we have more than 25000 people get, getting infected every single day so it's on the rise and now it's around 5 to 6 month it's not going down but it's going high and the same thing happened in that neighborhood people were getting infected were getting killed because of this every single day and this pastor every single day he used to conduct the funeral service and also he lost his friends he saw his friends falling down because of this pandemic so charles spurgeon was really discouraged because of what's going around he was really saddened and it's is natural even today we when we see the things happening all around us when we see the city how it was before and now how it has been it's a really a discouragement for us so naturally he was discouraged sadden because he was out going visiting people house conducting the funeral service so he was really discouraged and also the fear entered into his heart he was afraid it's natural to be afraid so many people are getting infected in his neighborhood so he was afraid he thought that one day even he'll get infected and he will fall sick and die the fear entered in his heart one fine day as he was on the way home he just conducted the funeral service he was discovered dejected afraid he was walking on the davos street in london and what is so a shoe shoemaker shop and on the front of his shop on his window something was written on board and it was nicely written so that really attracted him see he thought it must be some a trade announcement or a quarantine sign he thought it must be that but as he went further it wasn't a quarantine sign or a trade sign it was a verses from psalm 91 and he read the verses the first verse which says that really inspired him it says if you say the lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling no harm will overtake you and no disaster will come in your tent when he read that see inside his heart he was dejected discouraged afraid but when he read that we says no harm will overtake you there is harm happening all around him around his neighborhood but no harm will overtake you no disaster will come near your tent tent means your house these are the words of god these are the living words and this is a promise from god no harm will overtake you no disaster will come near your tent yes the harm is there in your left hand side in your right hand side the disasters happening all around you but it's not going to come near you so charles persian when he read this he was he was really refresh and i'm quoting him it's he said i felt secure refresh gulped with immortality about the bible and he wrote i confess that the words of the scripture thrill my soul as nothing else ever can so he felt secured he felt refresh and as he confessed this words that no harm will overtake me no disaster will come near my house i mean it just thrilled him his life what change on that day and he was really encouraged also by what the shoemaker said that people were infected all around him but he was saved from the infection not only that his business prospered so supernaturally he was saved 
and also his business prosper and his customer who came to his shop they were also not infected a powerful testimony because of psalm 91 because that shoe maker he believed psalm 91 he believed when god is saying that no harm will overtake me no disaster will come to my house he believed that scripture and he wrote all the scriptures on his window mighty thing happens he was supernaturally protected his customers were supernaturally protected and his business flourished so normally when there is a pandemic the business go down but his business flourished because he believed in the promise of god charles spurgeon was well inspired by the testimony of the shoemaker and the way he believed in psalm 91 My dear brothers and sisters even today we are going through the same challenges as it happened in 18th century but god has given us a promise to psalm 91 the only thing is that that we have to believe that because god knew that the things are going to happen in this world the diseases are going to come out where people will become afraid and that's why the scripture is there for us it's a promise by god to us so we'll just read from 9 to 16 and we'll finish the message it says if you say the lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling no harm will overtake you no disaster will come in your tent just confess the scripture every single day it's going to bless you no harm will overtake you no disaster will come near your tent was elohim for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways now what he says is he will command his angels hey that's a plural concerning you to guard you in all your ways and what he says you to guard you in all your ways so wherever you are going The angels are there to protect you. Maybe you are going to office. Maybe you are going to buy something. The angels are there with you to protect you, to protect you from the viruses. Twelve. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You'll tread on the lion and the cobra. You'll trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I'll protect him, for he acknowledge my name. He acknowledge that Jesus is Lord. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Just confess. Psalm ninety one every single day. Just believe what it says. No harm will overtake you. No disaster will come to your tent. No infection can reach to your house. No harm can overtake you. The harm is there. The disaster is there. As you p- see the people falling down, but it's not going to come near you. That's the promise. of god so believe in the promise of god a shoemaker powerful belief in psalm 91 he wrote on a piece of paper because he believed that nothing is going to come near his tent no harm is going to come and the same thing happened people all around him were were falling down but he was not infected his business flourished and also the, his customers who came to his shop they were blessed and they were not infected that's how it can happen when you believe in the scriptures your family is saved your friends are saved your neighborhood is saved no disaster can come near your 
टेंट सो डोंट गेट अफवेट डोंट गेट फेयरफुल आई नो इट्स नैचुर यू ऑल गो थ्रू सच थिंग्स सो टूडे वॉट वी हैव एंड दैट इज द ओनली थिंग वी हैव टूडे टू प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम दिस थिंग विच इज हैपनिंग ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड इज अ साम नाइंटी वन विच सेज नो हार्म विल ओवरटेक यू नो डिजास्टर विल कम टू योर टेंट so believe in that just almighty and awesome father god thank you so much for this time and thank you so much for the promise which you are given in the bible we pray all this is most loving and lord sir jesus christ amen